School is out and the warm weather is here, but those aren't the only signs summer is just around the corner. Another sign when the Electric City Water Park opens up. That's where we find our Melinda Zosh. Melinda, it looks like you might be tempted to go swimming soon. Taylor, even though I'm not wearing my swimsuit right now, let me tell you, I am so tempted to jump into the pool. But for some, getting into the pool here behind me can be a scary thought, especially if that water is not treated. But rest assured, here at the Electric City Water Park, the water is clean and treated multiple times a day. In fact, chemical tests are done on the water every two hours. Aquatics Director Marion Perman tells me they also keep records through written logs. She says, as the city even adds more chlorine than the required minimum amounts just as an extra precaution. We don't want anybody to get sick. A lot of times parents say, oh my gosh, they were in the pool. But you know what, that can also happen just because a child is opening up a door. So um, if it's with the chlorine, chlorine kills a lot of stuff. Now, safety is another priority here at the water park. Perman says the lifeguards all go through intense training in order to get the job. The city requires that they swim 500 yards without stopping, dive down to a depth of 12 feet, and tread in the water with a 10-pound brick for at least one minute. That's not all. These lifeguards are also CPR and first aid certified. Now, the city is looking for more lifeguards. Right now, you have to be at least 15 years old, and of course, you should be a decent swimmer coming up on Monday. They will have training for that. And if you're interested, I have those details on our website, kfbb.com. For now, reporting in Great Falls, I'm Melinda Zosh. Taylor, back to you.